So we have a rainy day here at home, uh, but I just got a text from Whitney <clears throat> saying that uh, the morning hunt has been incredible. So we may be making a waterfowler out of her yet. So I can't wait to hear uh, what all is going on. Sounds like the dogs are doing great. Sounds like the birds are cooperating, at least for the most part, and uh, which has all been fantastic. So update for me is uh, you know, with running cameras, still have not been able to uh, locate uh, my deer that I've been after. Uh, now I know your know, cameras can be very deceiving, right? Because he could still, you know, be up and about, just not going in front of the cameras. But the difficult part is here is being eight hours away, uh, being gone a lot, or right, the way it is, you know, being a dad, being a business owner, um, you know, I got to kind of, you know, put the odds in my favor here. So I'm not going to go down just to go down uh, if I don't feel like he's on his feet. But it's also been super hot down there too. So we have a cold front that's going to be going in here uh, today. As you can see here, maybe you can't see, but it's raining. It's definitely cooled off here. So I'm hoping that I get some activity here in the next day or two, you know, to give me a reason, you know, to get down there in a tree. Now, when Whitney comes back, I may go down just to get in a tree, do some observation um, and get some eyes down there. But for now, uh, trying to, to make the most out of my time. You know, I know uh, if this was the only thing I had going on, yeah, I'd probably be down there and say, you know, Cameras don't tell the whole story like I always do, but with just getting back in from overseas, with uh, being uh, going to Alberta on a spot and stock hunt here uh, in about you know, a week and a half-ish, two weeks, uh, and then the waterfall season really kicking off, it's really important that I spend the time here, one, around the business, two, around the kids, three, around my dogs, uh, so there's a lot of things here that I have to take home or take care of here at home. So um, love to hear that things are going well for wit. We're going to keep going, uh, keep holding on the fort here, and uh, we'll get an update from Whitney. Set up. We're gonna actually lay ground blinds this morning, which is really exciting. I have not laid the ground blinds for a long time. We've been doing that on um, a frames for a couple years now, so that'll be fun. Um, super windy out. It's like 10 degrees colder this morning, but it should be really. Good. I mean, it should be good. When they when they scouted last night, um, there were a lot of ducks in the field, so we'll keep our fingers crossed that they don't. Are you ready? Are you ready, Mr. Bud? Oh yeah, looks like you are. We all know who's in my blind. Thum, 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 thum.
Can I send him? Yeah. Bud. Yeah. Good boy, Bud. That boy. Good boy. Good boy. Kennel. shoot them because we already cut our limit.
What are these? How about this little one here? Kill him, kill him, kill him. Nice job, guys. Fun! Bad boy, bye. <laughs> Okay, so Marie was so sweet and she grew this pumpkin for the kids. And so, <laughs> oh, you guys were complaining about nothing. <laughs> Luckily, uh, Miller's got a tractor. Oh, there's no room for the dogs. So. Oh, they'll have to ride in the cab with us. Look at this pumpkin. It's not going on the roof. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to put it on the roof. How cool would that be? I think we could have got it on the roof. Do you want to put it on the roof? <gasps> no, I think we're good. Okay. Pumpkins. We're good. The Anything Miller kids else? will love Pumpkins. this. Thank you. Okay, so I just got home. I'm running around and doing some errands, but I just, I have to do just like an, a final ending video because I cannot stop smiling. I can't wipe this off my face. I just, I have truly never been on a duck hunt like this. And the last couple days, I just kept telling myself, I'm like, I get it. I get why people like to duck hunt. Like when people talk about the the duck tornadoes, you know, and them coming in when you're not even set up all the way yet or they just keep pouring in. I was like, oh, okay, you know, exaggerate, exaggerate, exaggerate. But this has been just the ultimate hunt. And um, we laid in the layout blinds, which I have not done for so long. And so sitting in the layout blinds versus the a-frames there's always pros and cons of all of it but sitting in the layout blinds brought me back 10 years ago when we used to duck hunt without the layout blinds and 
just like that intimate feeling of this hunt was so unbelievably cool watching these birds come down landing right on top of you and these birds were so fresh that sometimes I didn't even have the um the covers on me and they would still come in and land and I just it was a duck hunt that I will never ever ever forget it was so fun I truly wish Josh could have been there um to see how all of this worked but it was just I mean, it's, it was, um, it was really indescribable of how incredible it was. And now I'm, I think I could be a duck hunter now. <laughs> so that's how good it was. Um, but yeah, that's it. Can't wait to get back to North Dakota.